Welcome, everyone, to Ptarmigan Music and Theater Society's 2015-2016 Operations Report. Ptarmigan's 2015-2016 season brought a lot of activity and change, including me, your new artistic director, Krista Konkin, myself and my husband, Leon, in the picture there, and my daughter, Sawyer, moved here in September to begin a new journey. And what a journey it has been. Let's take a look at some of the things that Ptarmigan's been up to in the last fiscal year. First off, Pender Island School's Grade 678 Band and Music Program, led by one of our most prized artist facilitators, Ben McConkie. Now in its fourth season, Ben works very closely with the teachers to bring the highest quality band and music education possible to the school. Easily our most expensive program, it can also be argued that this program has the biggest impact reaching over 40 youth that otherwise wouldn't have this opportunity. It is my hope with Ptarmigan that when possible we use the highest caliber professional artist to do our facilitation, and Ben is a great example of us succeeding at that. It should also be noted that the students have free use of Ptarmigan's Instrument Bank, making this an incredibly accessible program that we couldn't be prouder of. Another incredibly popular program at Pender Island School is the Glee Club, which I was honored to be the facilitator of this past year. Glee Club meets Wednesdays at lunchtime, and as an extracurricular activity, I wasn't sure how popular it would be, but at our first meeting, over 40 students showed up. Think of Glee Club as choir with choreography, and these pictures you're seeing are of a performance done at our talent show, which we'll talk about later in this presentation. From January to June, we all worked so hard, what you're seeing here is Michael Jackson's Thriller, which I'm told wowed the audiences. I was proud to be able to bring my musical theatre background to this program, and due to popular demand, we will be bringing it back in January 2017. Over in Victoria, we did a 12-week workshop series working in partnership with Victoria's Lyme Disease Support Group. The workshops were focused on music and various visual arts, with the aim being people who suffer from Lyme disease and their advocates. In keeping with Ptarmigan's mandate, our hope was that these workshops would give Lyme disease sufferers a creative space to find their voice and connect with others. Due to the nature of this illness, it was hard for us to bring in consistent numbers of participants, but those who did benefit were incredibly grateful. Also in Victoria, Ptarmigan underwent a four-session pilot program with Wellspring Support Group, a day home for people with severe disabilities. Wellspring wanted Ptarmigan to help them explore and record their clients' creative expressions, despite their seemingly insurmountable challenges. Even though the sessions did not result in an ongoing program, we learned a whole lot and remain in awe of their dedication and loyalty to their clients. The Smile and Show was an interactive musical puppet show created for seniors by Tim Gosley and Patrick Smith, the former and founding artistic director of Ptarmigan Society. Smilin was an innovative way for Ptarmigan to use the arts to connect with seniors around Victoria. The Smile and Show traveled to many seniors' residences and care homes, and we estimate that it has reached over 100 seniors and their caregivers. In this last fiscal year, we were excited to announce that the dance program formerly run by artist facilitator Lindsay Landry would come under the Termigan umbrella as the Hope Bay Dance Program. A mainstay of the Pender Island community, this program has always ran four classes, ranging in ages 3 to 18. Our purpose in pulling this dance program under our umbrella was to take the financial and administrative burden off Lindsay and allow her to focus on doing what she does best. The partnership has been a great success and we look forward to continuing it. The photo you're looking at here is of some of the dancers performing at the first annual Pender Island Youth Talent Show, an absolute highlight of this past fiscal year. Several different people, including Janet Willingham, seen here in the picture, had come to us with the proposal of Ptarmigan funding a year-end talent show. So we hired Janet as our coordinator and the first annual Pender Island Youth Talent Show was born. The talent show featured over 60 Pender Island youth and played to an enthusiastic sold-out audience. We had dancers, singers, actors, writers, instrumentalists, visual artists, media artists. It was truly an incredible display of talent. 
this event allowed individuals and small groups who otherwise wouldn't have the funds to rent their own facility for a recital a free chance to showcase all their hard work. It was such an enormous success and we are excited to make this an annual tradition. Our next one already booked for June 10th, 2017. In what would become our final Vancouver programs were the TELUS sessions, digital filmmaking workshops for inner city youth. These programs were generously funded by TELUS and put on in partnership with the ORCA Division of the Canadian Mental Health Association. Our stellar team of Nita Bowerman and James Coomber met with youth ages 7 to 14 at various housing sites in Vancouver to help them find their inner filmmaker. We were able to run four different programs, one that collaborated with a Vancouver neighborhood house and one that took us all the way out to Abbotsford. Meanwhile, back on the island and in partnership with the Epicenter Family Cooperative, Theatre Sports was born. Facilitated by professional actor Leon Willey, this Improv for Beginners course was an incredibly popular addition to our roster. Improv acting isn't only just accessible because you don't need any background or experience to do it, but it also helps the participants really break out of their shells and lose their inhibitions. These 10 preteen youth had so much fun in this program that we've even brought it back again this year and hope to make it an annual tradition. But hang on to your hats because there's even more, including the seniors in the school program at Pender School. First up, we had Angela Southward go in with the grade 6, 7, 8 class to teach them the basics of ballroom dancing. We also had Clarice Blumenthal in Thrall, the K1, 2, and 3 classes with her storytelling sessions. We're grateful to the teachers for the invite and to everyone who gave us such positive feedback about this intergenerational program. And now for the program that's probably nearest and dearest to my heart, the third and fourth annual Musical Theatre Intensives. This intensive asks the youth participants to learn an entire musical theatre production number, including the scene before, in no more than six hours. Tarmigan's funding allows these young people, who live in isolated communities like the Gulf Islands, to work with industry professionals. So far, we've done numbers from Fiddler on the Roof, White Christmas, Oliver and Mary Poppins, with our fifth annual intensive scheduled for March of 2017. A new and exciting partnership we made last year was with Kool-Aid Society in Victoria, a charity that runs all the homeless shelters in the city. We sent our musicians in to run music jams at the shelters, inviting the residents to come and sing and play along with our artists. It was exciting for me to be able to hire several new artists to add to our roster and work with artists that we've been working with for years. Even though admittedly it took some time for the shelter residents to trust us and become familiar with us, now it's like we've become part of the family and are asked for by name. And in case we thought we weren't doing enough, we decided to take on another new ambitious initiative, the first annual Pender Island Youth Film Festival. The idea was pitched to us by Rachel Lankowski, whose vision was to run a film festival that featured films made by the youth themselves. The idea fit our mandate perfectly, so we hired Rachel as our coordinator and booked a space at the community hall for the end of May 2016. The evening featured 21 movies made by youth 0 to 16 and was held in front of a glamorous red carpet to a packed audience. It was truly a night to be proud of. The Pender Island Youth Leadership Program uses community building, the arts, and nature-based activities to give young teens leadership skills. This sold-out program happened once a week for an entire Saturday over six weeks, culminating in an overnight kayaking camping trip. The credit goes to Emily Rachira, who had the main concept for this program and was also a facilitator, along with Andrea Mills and myself. Even though Tarmigan won't be running this program again, we do hope that it finds new legs with another organization and that Tarmigan can still be involved in a smaller but still meaningful way. In the summer of 2016, the Pender Island Healthcare Society approached us to fund the arts components of a new initiative called the Community Gathering that they would be starting in September. We experimented with a few pilot sessions over at the Anglican Church and then at the Community Hall and concluded that this was a partnership that we looked forward to continuing in the fall of 2016. At its simplest, 
This initiative allows us to hire senior musicians who want to reach out to other seniors in their community via the community gathering. And we thank New Horizons Canada for funding this initiative. Well, we've saved the best for last with the Summer School of the Arts 2016, which took place the last week of July this past summer. We offered two camps, Music with Ben and Theatre with Leon, which were not only sold out three weeks before the start dates, but actually ended up having huge waiting lists. I organized these camps so last minute that I never expected them to be this popular. In fact, I had people hunting down my personal cell phone number so that they could convince me to let their child into the program. But then again, who wouldn't want to be in a program with facilitators of Ben and Leon's caliber and in a location as beautiful as the Hope Bay Studio? The theatre camp ran from 10 to 1 and the music camp from 2 to 5 every day for a week. We even had some out-of-town kids join our camp, which was really exciting. I know that this operations report is getting lengthy, but I would be remiss to not mention some of the other individual events and initiatives that we were proud to be sponsors of. Like the Hope Bay Studio Concert Series run by Colin Hamilton that put on five concerts, only a visitor, Sweet Lowdown, Karina Keeling, Carrie Burnett, and Genevieve in the Wild Sundays. Showcase Publication. With the distribution of 20,000, this publication's mandate was to promote the largely artistic happenings on the Gulf Islands. The wonderful and ever-popular Pender Island Jazz Band. The second annual Puppets for Peace Festival happening in Victoria, British Columbia. The always sold out, critically acclaimed International Pender Island Flute Retreat. Art in the Orchard happening in the outdoor grounds of Pender Island, British Columbia. The Stony Pocket Summer Concert Series, which held two incredibly popular outdoor concerts. Woo! That's a lot. And as busy as 2015 and 16 proved to be, this next year is going to be even more jam-packed with programs and events, making sure the arts can be available to, well, everyone. So until next time, this is your friendly artistic director, Krista Konkin, signing off and hoping that all of you out there will participate and help promote Ptarmigan programs in the future. Oh, and thank you to Lisa for her constant optimism and for always being able to find more money, and to the board of directors for giving me this amazing opportunity. And mostly to you, our members and patrons, because at the end of the day, you're why we do this.